and this is a piece that I really like, so I've this I was sketching it out and lining it up for a canvas. It's a drawing. So many dreams uh, is is a love story. It's a love story of of, of uh, women who have influenced my life and my children uh, and the the art form that I make as an actor. Uh, so many dreams uh, has just a beautiful lyricism to it, and the title came easy. It was a very hard conversation to have. I was strongly influenced by the LA artists of, of the early 80s. I had a certain desire and wish and a want to, to paint. I had the money to afford the art supplies, the canvas, the brushes, and that first season of Remington Steel, you know, I had money, so I bought all these <laughs> wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful art supplies, and they just um, ended up in a cupboard. I used to wear that across. I was uh, the shape of a mirror that was in the house, and I just... And then, uh, around 1987, I started painting. My, my late wife was, uh, we were stricken with cancer, ovarian cancer, and uh, that, that's, that's a very, any, any of, any ailment or sickness like that creates a, a real rift and fracture in your heart and psyche. And one night I got up and I just started painting. I started painting with my fingers. And so I would paint while she would recover from chemotherapy and I set up a studio. And uh, so it was born out of that, that love, that life. She was still with us, yes, she was still with us. And yes, I mean these, these the wall of drawings over here, they definitely are an inner exploration. They come from, they're automatic drawings, they all come from phone calls. My wife Keely bought these pads that sit by the phone with her initials, my initials, and as soon as I'm on a phone call where I'm doing business and I have a, a morning of calls, the pad is there and the drawings just happen. They just show themselves. So they have a mystery. It interests me, fascinates me. I don't know. I'd like to do wallpaper designs. An expression of Joy, really. Joy. You know, you make art to please yourself. I make it to comfort myself, to please myself, to try and understand myself a little bit more, to uh, create something that has a power on the wall and will be cherished by other people, my family, <laughs> and beyond. I follow the line and it defined itself. I mean, fish hook. I love the fish hooks of Hawaii such a collection of them. So it's my own birthday gift to myself mm -hmm. to have the courage, the chutzpah, to say, come and see my artwork. Mm -hmm. But to, uh, I can't quite fully own mm -hmm. painter yet. Yeah. It, takes, it takes time, you know, it takes time to be an actor, it takes time to be an artist. They're biographical, mm -hmm. and the intention, you know, I've tried to write the memoirs and it's so boring. <laughs> it's just having to dig into the head and the heart and the, and the memory of life. And so these paintings definitely have a, uh, have a history of who I was, where I was, when I was, and uh, they have an evolution from the kind of crude, gesture back in 87, but uh, to a stylized form now. Who is this person? You know, who is this man? What, what, what is the meaning of, of these images? Those are all self-portraits, correct? 
Well, yes and no, I can say they're self-portraits, but they're images that just repeat themselves in the work, and I've allowed myself to let that face, that image, come through. Um, sure. <laughs> this is a backdrop of Malibu, the ocean, the horizon line, tribal art. They do come out of a, a period of uh, pain and mourning and I went to the canvas to explore that dark rage, uh, that kind of uh, fractured pain that I had, but the color came out and so the color balanced <laughs> whatever that uh, inner life was. Uh, so they do have, uh, you know, as I look at them today, uh, they do have a darkness to them underneath. They're kind of jagged, but uh, shrouded in color. And I just love color. I love the Impressionists. <laughs>